can't get your glasses clean. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. Um, today, I did some shopping at TJ Maxx, and I did some damage. To be honest, I didn't do that much, but I mean, it's a big bag, but to be fair, I really didn't buy much. I bought like three things, four things, three or four things. So it's not like 20 million things. Cause you know, I'm a cheap ass bitch, so. <laughs> every time I go to TJ Maxx, I mean, basically everybody who goes to TJ Maxx, you have to go to the candle section and smell candles and, and uh, you know, look at them and all that crap, so. I didn't buy any of the good candles, like the good smelly ones, but <laughs> this candle makes me laugh and it's so inappropriate, the reason that I'm laughing. But um, basically, my dad found this for $1 and it's a Happy Hanukkah um, Festival of Lights. It says Happy Hanukkah Festival of Lights, Happy Hanukkah with snowflakes on it. And I'm laughing because one, I'm not Jewish at all, as far as I know. Um, and two, it's just funny that he picked this out because we're not Jewish. I mean, well, there's another reason, but that's more offensive. So not that I have any problem with any cultures or races or anything. I love everybody. I'm an equal opportunity kind of person. And you know, we're all, we're all human beings, whatever. I'm not like that, but my dad is a little bit more like that, but that's all I'm going to say about that. But yeah, so I got a weird Hanukkah candle, but I mean, it's pretty. I mean, it's really pretty blue and it has snowflakes on it. So, you know, I'm not complaining, but it's just kind of a weird thing to buy, but whatever. Um, most of the time when I go to TJ Maxx, I look at the skincare area because, you know, I'm not about to spend like 15, 20 more dollars or more dollars, I should say, on something that is at Sephora or Ulta that may or may not be, like, good. Um, and, yeah, and I went, I looked into the clearance section, and I found this little gem. I took the sticker off, that's why it looks kind of effed up right here, but this is V&V, &V, which I find that kind of funny, because I'm a girl and I have a V. <laughs> um, Booster Blend Skin Firming Serum. There were a couple other ones I was looking at, which they were like six dollars each, but this was three dollars. So look for those bargains, bitch. I'm a bargain bitch. Um, which that'd be an actually cool idea, like for like to start a start maybe either a channel called Bargain Bitch, or start like maybe a series of videos where I try to like you know show you guys where you can find the good bargains. I don't know. If you guys would be interested in that, let me know. But that's not, that is, that's nor here nor there. But, um, and I like that this says it's made in the USA. But yeah, um, but yeah, the other two were rose scented. One of them was really big. And of course, good thing is, is that this, this actually works, which usually these are horrible, so. I think it does smell like floral. I don't know if it's like a rose smell, but it smells really good. Um, it says, let's see if that's anything about roses. Oh, it does have Rosa Rubinosa Rose Hip Seed Oil. Okay, so it has Rose Hip Seed Oil in it, so that's why it smells like flowers, which is why I like it a lot. And I mean, don't know how much is in here, but I mean, Hopefully it's like basically a full bottle. You get two ounces. So yeah, I bought this. It's a really pretty bottle, obviously. On sale, I've been like looking for something. I mean, I'm not a skincare ass bitch, meaning I'm not the kind of person that cares about, like I don't have like a routine. I just wash my face and put lotion on it. Like, you know, I just do normal stuff. But I do, I'm hoping this will hydrate my skin, but it says skin firming serum, so hopefully that's, I mean, it has a lot of oils and 
healthy shit in it so it does have alcohol in it which is kind of annoying but you know green tea and blah 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 so it has good stuff in it hopefully it'll hydrate my skin so that's why i bought it but yeah so that's all that beautiful item these next two items i went into tj maxx and i like well the last item i'm going to show you i like saw like straight when i went in and i was like yes i'm picking that up it'll be mine and then this item was like the second thing i saw and i was like I was, t I was like pointing to my dad and I was like, dad, 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 these are great. Okay, so they are these awesome gray floral and skull leggings. They fit me pretty well. When I saw the floral and skull, um, you know, motif, I was like, yes, please. <laughs> like, yes. I was kind of second guessing as we were getting closer to the register so i'm trying to say because you know they're 15 dollars and for me that's not exactly cheap like cheap for me is like for pants i would say like well i guess 15 and under is cheap i guess for pants most people would consider it that cheap i mean i consider 15 not bad like it's it's not bad it's not great but yeah yeah so yeah, I had to get these. I mean, come on. Like, they have flowers on them and skulls. Like, these were made for me, basically. Like, that's what I, that's, how, that's how I feel about them. Like, and they feel really good on my skin. They feel, they fit well. They're made in Mexico, I think, so that's, or, I think it's Mexico. So that's one good thing, I guess. <laughs> Not China. <laughs> so, yeah. I would try these on. I don't feel like it. I really don't. I hate, I just, I'm not, a, I'm not a big fan of try on, try on things. I'm too lazy for that shit. And last, but certainly not least, this was the item that I went into to, I walked into TJ Maxx and I literally saw this and I was like. I mean, do I need to explain why I bought this? <gasps> why I bought this? Like, has it beautiful? It's mustard. I mean, what, do you see a color on my wall? Do you see that color on my wall? Look, look, look at this beautiful bitch. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous and it's so big. And honestly, it does feel like pretty good quality. Like it doesn't feel like crap. Oh, but it gets better. It gets better, bitch. It gets better. I'm, I'm not, I'm not lying. This was in the purse. This comes in the purse. You see? Like. Boop. Look at this purse. Look at this effing purse. It is stunning. And it's like a messenger purse. And it's freaking stunning. It's just, it's just, I love flowers. I mean, I guess you could kind of, some people might see this as like an old lady purse. Because <laughs> actually, as I'm looking at it, it does. And I don't know why, but you see this right here? This looks like a face to me. But that's like, I see faces and everything, so yeah, I'm weird. Oh, but the inside looks like this purse. It's, I mean, it's beautiful. It's amazing. It was under $20. And I mean, I don't know about you, but I had to have it. I did try on these mustard pants which i think i have a picture of them and if i do have a picture of them on my phone i'll put it right here but yeah i tried these mustard pants on and they did look good on me but they were kind of like a, 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 they were kind of like a curtain material almost and they just i mean honestly if they were a different color like i mean they're mustard which is awesome but at the same time like I mean, I'm 28 years old and I have to be practical, so it's like, you know, just, how do I explain it? Like, where would I wear them? Is basically what I'm trying to say. Like, where would I wear a pair of mustard slacks? Like, but they were really cute, and I mean, if I go back, who knows? Because it would be kind of cool to have, like, to wear, like, a black blouse with mustard pants and have my mustard purse. I mean, is that a outfit or what? So now I'm, like, now I'm second guessing and going back there and getting it, but... But yeah, that is my TJ Maxx haul. Um, 
I did look at the makeup section, but nothing really like made me go crazy. Um, I did see some Kat Von D shade and light palettes, but they were like eye palettes and those glitter palettes. And I really, I'd rather um, buy like the shade and light palette, but I've heard that Koki makes a dupe for that. So I'm kind of interested to go to Rite, Rite Aid and maybe get the dupe, but yeah. So that is my haul and I hope you guys enjoy it and let me know like I said if you would want me to do videos like you know and call them like bargain bitch kind of thing. I don't I mean it's just an idea. I'm always trying to like think of ways to improve my channel and make you guys videos that you would love and hopefully I do a pretty good job and I hope you guys enjoy it and and I hope you guys are having a great day and I will talk to you guys soon and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.